What's up guys? I wanted to do a quick video today on keeping animals out of your attic. So just a, as an example you see up here, we're up in the attic. Uh, as a former animal control officer, I used to get calls all the time to go remove animals or catch animals in people's attics, especially if they were vector boring or potentially if they get carrying uh, diseases that could be transferred into humans. Uh, such as bats or, or raccoons, uh, but even things like squirrels. And uh, squirrels is, is it's interesting because squirrels are probably the, the number one animal that will chew its way into your homes. And so how do you actually just keep them, keep the, keeping them out? It's, and which is probably the best thing to do is prevention. So if you can prevent them from ever coming in there, that's going to be your best bet. I want to start off that uh, right away so you understand. So if... Uh, if you're thinking about how do I prevent them from getting in, you, of course, if you have any sort of holes, always inspect uh, up in an attic if, you, if you're looking around for any sort of holes uh, in, in the fashion and stuff. If you see stuff on the outside, of course, if you start to see animals uh, moving around, uh, coming in, in onto the roof, checking for ridge vents, uh, remove climbing vines, keeping branches away from the home so that they can't get on top of your house. Uh, they'll look for ways to get up your exterior walls. Uh, think of it like a like a basically like a super highway for them to travel. If they can get up, they're gonna run across and, and great. Start to get cold, especially in the wintertime. I used to get tons of calls uh, when animals would go in. Areas around chimneys, especially. Uh, even some birds would come in that way, but primarily uh, the ones that will chew in will be your squirrels. And when your squirrels get in, that's when you would lead to other animals. Squirrels typical, you'll see a, a about a two inch hole. If it's a raccoon, you'll see like a big chunk uh, taken off. But a squirrel, only about a two inch hole and you'll see lots of chewing. Uh, mice and, and rats, you'll notice a heavy uh, odor of, of ammonia in the area. Uh, there might be some some wet spots uh, by the entrances. If there's la if they are rats, you'll see uh, almost lo looks like like oil, uh, like a brown a brownish oil around the entry hole, uh, like a brownish like grease looking thing. Uh, so how do you determine what do you have? Well, uh, honestly, yeah, if you see urine droppings, uh, nests, damage to ductwork, uh, damage to installation, gnawing, squeaking, scurrying sounds. All, all, all that. Um, you can have things like opossums. I found like one in, in uh, up in an attic. Um, bats, of course. I've, I've taken many of those out. But, but rats, yeah, mice, yes, lots and lots and lots of squirrels. Um, but typically, like you, if you have like a snakes or lizards that people are concerned with, sometimes snakes, they're they're usually pretty quiet, so you usually don't hear them. Uh, but some of the other stuff you abs absolutely will hear. So. I also want to talk about some of the myths out there uh, with keeping animals away. So, and you know, there's lots of smells that, that animals don't like. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of things like uh, vinegar. You could put out a bowl of vinegar. Yeah, sure. If you put out a single bowl of vinegar, don't expect that the animal is going to eat that single bowl of vinegar. But are you going to cover your, in, in, imagine covering an entire attic. Uh, one, it's not really good to have all that, all, all that around. But are you really going to want to sit there inhaling tons and tons of of that, uh, you know, things like cayenne pepper, dryer sheets, uh, cinnamon. Yeah, maybe those are smells they don't like, but at, w at what expense? Uh, you're gonna sit there and cover your trash cans in ammonia. Uh, it's not gonna be good for you to inhale that. Uh, so think things like that. The best, again, prevention you can do is prevention. So best thing you can do, keep them from coming in. Uh, so I want you to think about that. Also, I wanna talk about another myth, cats. It, sure, cats, they have, uh, have and do possess the ability to, to kill mice uh, and, and, and sure, they, you'd think they could kill um, other things such as rats. However, in, a, in one study, for example, they followed around a whole colony of feral cats. Tons of rats were around. And in 79 days of the study, they only killed two uh, rats. That was it. Uh, they're not very successful about them. Uh, they're just not, they're not good at really rodent control. They might keep it so that the rodents, you don't see them and then the rodents will hide. But yeah, where are the rodents in that point? Uh, the cats maybe aren't running around in your attic. The cats aren't getting into your walls. But the rodents can, and that's where they're, they're chewing into. So don't think of cats as this great, uh, they say, oh, you just need a mouser. It's not a, it's not, it's not a, it's, it's a myth. Um, they will, however, start taking out, um, some of your birds and some of your your healthy native wildlife. Uh, that, that's more or less what they're they're going to end up doing. So they'll chase those pests underneath floors, into the walls, uh, into your air ducts, and it really just masks the problem. So there's a huge misconception that that cats are great at that. Uh, rodents actually might be attracted to your dog's food bowl 
uh, they're, hey, they're sitting out. If your dog maybe or cat takes a takes a few minutes to eat, there's little bits left, little smells left over. It might actually bring more rodents into the area. Uh, and then your animals, your pets, your cats and dogs might pick up diseases. Another myth, ultrasonic devices. My goodness, they, they are so hot. Oh, they're all over the market. Oh, wow, they have this great thing. Uh, you can put this... Uh, environmentally if you're an environmentally conscious homeowner you have this ultrasonic sound that'll make all this great noise that you can't hear but it will scare away things sure they can hear them that that you can't it's absolutely true uh but yeah uh, just think of it if you had this sound going along all the time but you have this great food source they, they don't care they're going to go right by it uh they're going to go and they're going to go where they have a food source they have a place to hide it's something that will keep them warm in winter if they already have that your ultrasonic device does absolutely nothing um, there have also been interferences with telephone connectors, burglar alarm systems, hearing aids with those ultrasonic uh, things that are supposed to keep animals, uh, keep pests away. Doesn't work. They're, they're a complete waste of money. Don't, don't spend it. Uh, another myth, um, roots, road rodents really won't do anything worse than chewing. That's a, a huge myth. They'll leave feces that can lead to disease. Rodents carry tons of diseases that are harmful and even deadly. Think of like hantavirus. Uh, every year there's about four to five cases just in New Mexico alone uh, that, that kill people, kill humans every year. Uh, and those diseases can go ahead and just move through your home. So you definitely don't want to keep, keep them in there. Uh, we talked about vinegar a little bit. Sure, yeah, if you have a little bowl out, uh, that little bowl maybe won't get touched, but realistically it can be you know, detrimental to, to other things around. You start putting it on plants, great. Now you're burning your plants uh, eventually, you know, consistently if you, if you keep doing that. Uh, vinegar also might stain certain surfaces uh, and it will require over and over application. So, and some people can't smell the, stand, can't stand the smell of vinegar. Um, yeah, they say, oh yeah, it's so great. It's a natural repellent. And I love, I love doing all things naturally if you can do it. But the best, again, the best way to keep animals uh, from your attic is to keep them out in the first place. Keep them out. Good, good prevention. Okay. Uh, so we talked about uh, some of those things. Uh, finally, uh, another myth for you: rats and mice loving cheese. There's this huge myth that that's their number one thing. You have this cartoon, cartoon mythology that loves to build up those things. Uh, yeah, that maybe they'll munch on that sometime. But really, things if you're trying to, if you were trying to ever bait things like peanut butter, nuts, uh, a little bit of fruits and stuff. Um, those are those are more those are better for them, for them. So better for you to take those food sources away, nesting materials away, seal up any gaps, cracks. Uh, I went into one home uh, just to seal up a uh, little little caulking agent. Once I caught uh, a couple flying squirrels, and that's it. That's it. Then you keep them from coming in. That's so much better than you trying to sit there and bait in and try to capture your you capture a mouse or capture 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 the squirrels in there. You have to seal seal it up there. So. So contrary to popular belief, you know, you have that like, hey, they're they're drawn into that cheese thing. Remember, it, no, they want those high protein sources, high sugar contents, um, grains, peanut butters, uh, things like that. Uh, and the last one I have for you is that pesticides, that they're safe around children, pets. Yeah, just because you can go to your do-it-yourself uh, pesticide store and buy them. There's a reason why, uh, like, for example, if you're, if you're a a bee, a bee beekeeper, you have to get notified whenever they're going to be spraying anywhere in any other area. It's a, it's a law uh, because the bees are out there. Yes, it will kill them, but it's also toxic to humans and and, um, and, and your pets out there. Talk to a licensed professional out there for any sort of application. Otherwise, you're unnecessarily exposing yourself to something that if you're if you're not familiar with those things, especially with you're putting that stuff around around your family. So uh, hopefully that helps. I just wanted to clear up some of those things. I uh, had a I know I've had a lot of questions on that from just keeping animals out, outside of the home. It starts to get cold. Animals are going to try to move in uh, and up in that attic space. So keep that keep that attic just for just for you and for your family. Uh, and keep the questions coming in. I, I will get to the other ones uh, as soon as I can. Uh, and like and subscribe. Thanks again.